The Growth of the Masonic Movement. Inigo Jones, 1573-1652, reorganized the lodges, introducing the Descartes rationalism, and they were now known as the Free and Accepted Masons. Elias Ashmole, a banker, Rosicrucian, and founder of the Oxford Museum, who became a Mason in 1648, established the three basic degrees. 1. Entered Apprentice. 2. Fellow Craft. 3. Master Mason. On June 24, 1717, the four lodges in London were united into a Grand Lodge, sometimes called the Grandmother Lodge, by three members who met at the Apple Tree Tavern, thus beginning the era of modern Freemasonry. Rather than being a guild of stone masons and builders, they altered their philosophy and became a pseudo-religion who tried to cooperate with the church so as to be able to work from the inside, rationalize the doctrine of Jesus and empty it gradually of its mystical content. Freemasonry hoped to become a friendly and legal heir to Christianity. They considered logic and the rules of scientific thinking as being the only absolute and permanent element of the human mind. By 1725, the movement had spread to France. The members of the Grand Lodge of England brought their fraternity to America. In 1730, Daniel Corr was appointed Provincial Grand Master of New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania, after the first lodge was established in Philadelphia. A lodge was established in Boston in 1733. By the time of the American Revolution, there were 100 Masonic lodges. The Masons were firmly entrenched in the Eastern colonies, but since 95% of the population identified themselves as Christians, they had to modify their philosophies to include Christian teachings. The Grand Lodge of the United States was established in 1777, which officially cut all ties to their British counterparts. One writer summed up Masonry this way, Freemasonry has incorporated bits of other systems in its initiations and higher degrees, such as mystery schools, Mithraism, the Egyptian priesthood, the system of the Pythagoreans, Essenes, Kabbalists, Druids, the orders of the knighthood, Rosicrucians, Arabic secret societies, and the Knights Templar. Masonry slowly spread throughout the world, France, 1718-25, Ireland, 1725-26, Spain, 1726-27, Holland, 1731, Germany, 1730-33, Africa, 1735, Scotland, 1736, Portugal, 1736, Switzerland, 1737, Italy, 1733-37, Russia, 1731-40, Canada, 1745, Sweden, 1735-48, Prussia, 1738-40, Austria, 1742, Poland, 1784, and Mexico, 1825. Originally against the Masonic Order, Benjamin Franklin became a Mason in 1731, at the age of 25. He became the Provincial Grand Master of Pennsylvania in 1734, and was the appointed spokesman of the secret societies. As ambassador to France, he was honored there at a major Masonic lodge. It is believed that while he was on a diplomatic trip to Paris to seek financing for the revolution, he was initiated as a member of the Illuminati. George Washington joined the Fredericksburg Lodge No. 4 in Virginia, in 1752, and when he was elected president in 1789, he was the Grand Master of the Lodge, the highest official. He took his oath of office on a Masonic Bible, as did his Vice President, John Adams, who was also a Mason. This Masonic Bible from the altar of St. John's Lodge No. 1 in New York City, which was printed in London in 1767, was later used for other oaths administered to Harding, Eisenhower, Carter, Reagan, and Bush. This Masonic Bible has an introductory section that explains that Masonry is not a Christian fraternity, but in fact supports all religions. Eight of the signers of the Declaration of Independence were also members of the Fredericksburg Lodge. Actually, 51 of the 56 signers were believed to be Masons. However, only eight were known to be members, while another 24 were suspected of being members. It is also believed that eight to ten signers of the Articles of Confederation were Masons. There were nine Masons that signed the Constitution, while six others later became members. Other sources have used the figure of 13, while some have said there were as many as 28 members who signed the Constitution. Because of the disagreement between various books and online sources, representing Masonic and non-Masonic sources, it's easy to see how erroneous information becomes perpetuated as fact and truth. If the Masons can't even nail down the specifics of their own history, then the only thing we can hope to do, is to produce as accurate of a picture as possible, based on the facts. Among the ranks of the Masons were, Patrick Henry, not all Masonic researchers agree on this, John Hancock, Paul Revere, John Paul Jones, Alexander Hamilton, Benedict Arnold, John Marshall, Samuel Adams, Anthony Wayne, Francis Marion, the Swamp Fox, and Ethan Allen. In the military, 24 of Washington's major generals, and 30 of his 33 brigadier generals were Masons, another fact that Masonic researchers do not agree on. 
It was actually the Masons who instigated and carried out the American Revolution. The secrecy of the Masonic lodges allowed the colonial patriots to meet and discuss strategy. It was commonly believed that the reason for the revolution was taxation without representation, when actually it was because the parliament in the 1760s passed a law that no colony could issue its own money. The colonies had to issue bonds, and sell them to the bank, who would then loan them money. This forced the colonies to pay interest on their money. The revolution was ignited by the Boston Tea Party, which was planned during a dinner at the Bradley home. The participants were from the St. Andrew Lodge in Boston, who dressed up as Mohawk Indians, and went aboard the Dartmouth, which was anchored in the harbor, and dumped its load of tea overboard. The British government responded by closing the port, and sending in British troops. Empress Catherine the Great of Russia, who wasn't controlled by the international bankers, refused to send in 20,000 Russian troops against the colonists, when asked by King George III of England. The attack unified the colonies against England. The Supreme Council of Scottish Rite Freemasonry was established in Charleston, South Carolina in 1801, because that area was geographically located on the 33rd parallel. They are an extension of French Freemasonry, and considered liberal. In 1755, the ancient and accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry had expanded to 32 degrees, and then they added a 33rd degree. In 1813, the Northern Supreme Council was established, consisting of 15 states, and was headquartered in Boston. They were an extension of English Freemasonry, and are considered conservative. The Supreme Council, which represented the Southern jurisdiction, relocated to Washington, D.C., and covers the remaining 35 states, the District of Columbia, and U.S. protectorates. It is considered the Mother Supreme Council of the world. Among the presidents who have been Masons, Washington, Jefferson, 33rd degree, Madison, Monroe, Jackson, Polk, Buchanan, Andrew Johnson, 32nd degree and Grand Master, Garfield, McKinley, Theodore Roosevelt, Taft, Harding, 32nd degree, Franklin Roosevelt, 32nd degree, Truman, 33rd degree and Grand Master, Eisenhower, Kennedy, Lyndon Johnson, 1st degree, Nixon, Ford, 33rd degree, Carter, Reagan, 33rd degree, and George H. W. Bush, senior many state governors, U.S. Senators and congressmen are Masons. The Masonic Bible says that for well over 150 years, the destiny of this country has been determined largely by men who were members of the Masonic fraternity. Unquote. There is about 16,000 blue or symbolic lodges, with a Grand Lodge in every state, which represent more than 4 million members. There are 150 Grand Lodges in the world, and a worldwide membership of over 6 million. Members must be 21 years old, however, sons of members can be initiated at 18. Before consideration, an initiate must prove themselves to be mentally and physically competent, of good moral character, and believe in the existence of a supreme being. Unquote. Among their affiliated organizations, the Order of de Mole, the Order of Rainbow for Girls, and the Order of Jobs Daughters, which allow children as young as 11 to become indoctrinated in Masonic teaching. The Order of the Eastern Star, Ancient Arabic Order of Nobles of the Mystic Shrine, and Daughters of the Nile are organizations closely aligned with the Masons. Their literature claims that Freemasonry is not a religion even though it is a religion in character, does not pretend to take the place of religion nor serve as a substitute for the religious beliefs of its members, and, accepts men, found to be worthy, regardless of religious convictions. They claim that they exist to make good men better through its firm belief in the fatherhood of God, the brotherhood of man, and, consists of men bound together by bonds of brotherly love and affection. Unquote.